Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 5 and today we're taking a look at the 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS so this is based on the third generation Cayman and this is the first Cayman to get the RS treatment which before this was usually only ever given towards 911 models and uh, yeah it's been improved in terms of downforce as it's now got a swan uh, neck like uh, rear spoiler which produces it will help the car produce 25% more downforce over the standard GT4 and uh, yeah but looks wise it's not been improved at all it still looks like every other Cayman which yeah I've never been a massive fan of to be honest uh, but still it has had one big improvement and that is in terms of the engine department as it now has a 4 litre flat 6 naturally aspirated engine which produces 493 horsepower and 332 pounds feet of torque so that engine has been nicked from the 911 GT3 and although it's not quite as powerful as the engine in that car it's got 10 horsepower less and 14 pounds feet of torque less it still has all of the characteristics of that engine which is really good power delivery a high revving engine it's going up to 9000 rpm and uh, yeah it's just really really responsive so uh, yeah excellent engine and a car that's you know made all the better for it as it still only weighs 3,120 pounds so it's not that heavy although it is 165 pounds more than the standard GT4 for whatever reason um, but yeah the power the extra power is instantly noticeable as yeah this has 108 horsepower extra over the standard GT4 and 23 pounds feet of torque extra as well so yes this weighs more than that car but yeah the amount of power that it's got is indisputable and uh, yeah certainly makes a massive difference still got a little bit of practicality to it with the front boot but as you can see there is a battery there so you're not going to get too much in there so yeah the um, practicality overall isn't although they're not the best you've also got a little bit of boot space at the back there it's at the end of the day more of a track focused vehicle as you can see by the interior which although there are still some luxury elements to this car as you can see it's got electric windows, it's got aircon and and the like, it's uh, certainly not as um, festooned with technology as some cars are in this kind of class got the smallest screen possible pretty much on any modern car and yeah it's not you know got leather seats or anything like that, it's all very lightweight materials which yeah is what contributes towards this being an overall lightweight car so yeah but nonetheless let's get out onto the open road and see what this car can do Right, here we are at the drag strip, so let's see what this car can do before we hit the speed camera and then we'll uh, go around the track where it's going to be at home the most. So, yeah, gets off the line really, really well and as you can see, it is no slouch. Yes, 493 horsepower is hardly the most out of the sports car you'll get these days, but you won't get as much of a character and a charismatic, a charismatic engine either in other cars, even if they are more powerful. So yeah, 148 miles an hour thereabouts which is really really quick for such a short run and yeah you've got that gorgeous sounding engine uh, pushing you all the way up to that kind of speed so yeah let's get to the track and see what this car has in store for us so as you can see it's pretty agile might be slightly heavier than the standard GT4 but it really does not feel it right so let's look at the stats in rivals, so we're in bang on mid S1 class, and yet they're the stats which, as you can see, are fairly impressive. Um, handling and braking are pretty good, launch and acceleration are great, and the uh, top speed is fairly good as well. Although the stats are apparently not as good as the standard GT4, not sure why. Um, uh, where's it gone? Can never find the goddamn thing. Uh, there you go. So, uh, yeah, the speed is better on our side, the acceleration is the same, the launch is better on our side, but the braking, as you can see, is worse, and so is the handling. I can imagine the braking is because the R car weighs more than this one does, but yeah, I'm not sure why the handling is worse given this has extra downforce. Yes, the extra weight is going to impact the handling somewhat, but I can't imagine that the uh, extra downforce is going to make us any worse handling, and it should be as good as. So, um, yeah, not entirely sure why, but you know, sometimes the stats are something you've got to take with a pinch of salt on this game. They are a little bit inconsistent at times, but yeah, the proof is in the pudding basically with this car. And 
in terms of how it handles and how it breaks and yeah that is just basically by just driving it and seeing what it can do so yeah let's listen to the engine first and then we'll talk about it some more So yeah, an amazing sounding engine, always has been in the 911 GT3, whichever variant it's ever been using, and uh, yeah, it still sounds great in this car, and uh, yeah, it certainly makes a Cayman all the more attractive having this engine in it, because I've never been a big fan of the Cayman, uh, chief among which has been the engines, which I've never come across as the most charismatic kind of engines, but in this, yeah, it does completely dominate the experience, this engine, and uh, all the better for it. Now granted the standard Cayman GT4 was still a good handling car, uh, no doubt about that, but yeah, with this engine and the handling still being really really good, you've got on you, you've got a really great sports car overall. Yes, it's not the most practical, no it's not the best looking, but in terms of being a driver's car, it is up there with the best as well as I'm concerned. And the acceleration is pretty great as well. 0-60 is dealt with in 3.186 seconds. 0 to 100 is dealt with in 7.1 seconds dead and it will go to a top speed of 209 miles an hour and I have actually tried that on this game and yes it can do that whether or not that's something it could do for real I'm not sure but yeah it can definitely get up to those kind of speeds on this game which is even more remarkable given it's not even got 500 horsepower so yeah but that just shows how high revving this engine is that it can you know push this car to the absolute limit in terms of the top speed because you've got so many more revs to play with than you have with in a standard 718. So uh, yeah, fantastic car overall really. Yes I have my issues with the looks and obviously they've detuned the engine a little bit so it's not something that's going to be wholly competitive with the 911 GT3 but outside of that yeah this car's great and really really fun to drive. Handles beautifully and sounds incredible as well on top of that. So, yeah, this car is well worth getting and you can get it in the Super Speed Car Pack. doesn't cost very much to get it and you, alongside this you'll get the Golf R, you'll get the uh, KTM Expo GT2 Racer and uh, I think it's the GT2 or the GT4, whichever one. And then also the Elemental RP1, which again is another fantastic handling car, which this is nearly as good in terms of handling as that, despite that weighing about you know, less than half of what this car weighs, but still, fantastic car this is, and uh, yeah, well worth trying out if you haven't tried it already. Nonetheless, though, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!